I want to tell you about my second book. It's called Pharaoh's Tomb. And that gives you a hint about where she's going. It's totally different, but I don't want to give away the story because the story is the important thing. But what I would like to do is just read you a little section from the beginning. She's just arrived in Egypt on her hands and knees in the mud. Susan shrank back into the reeds. She shivered. She turned. She tried to pull some more reeds over her head for cover. She lay very still. The boats drew nearer, quietly paddling through the ruffled water. From her hiding place, Susan heard the men talking back and forth between the boats. She couldn't understand a word they said. Great, thought Susan. The crystals dragged me here, wherever here is, and to help someone, whoever that is, and then disappeared. I've only got a lump of rock and I can't even speak the language. She opened her mouth and down the awful mixture went. Susan tried to spit, but he held her jaw shut and she had to swallow to breathe. That's disgusting, she said, as soon as she stopped coughing and spluttering. That's what she said, but not what she heard. It came out as something else. Stop struggling, you little fool, you're not hurt. She could understand what the man said to her. Amazing. Susan tried again. Where am I? Who are you? The man didn't answer. He peered right in her face. His expression said plainly that he was not impressed. Susan stood her ground. You're not a magician, he accused. I conjured a magician and I got you. Then send me back, Susan snapped. And she was sure that even though she was only ten, she knew things he didn't. She had to think hard against the new language. She screwed her face up with a concentration. What did she know he didn't? Television, cell phone, spaceship, 747, F-18, satellite, internet, she said in a rush. As an afterthought, she wiggled her fingers in the air as she'd seen him do. The magician turned to her with a look of astonishment on his face. Those are powerful words, he said. What do they mean? They're my magic, Susan said and tried to look down her nose at him. The numbers sound like a special formula, he said with a question in his voice. Oops, numbers would translate into the new language, Susan realised. Yes, she said, people can fly when they use those numbers correctly. Mm -hmm.